Okay, today we're going to go ahead and put together the Where Am I application from Chapter 11 of Learning iPhone Programming. So let's start up Xcode and choose a new project, choose a view based application, and call it Where Am I, and save it in the desktop. just expand out our, um, our groups here and the first thing we're going to need to do is add the core location and um, map kit frameworks so here's core location and map kit Now I could include those um, the header files for those two frameworks um, from all our classes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into the prefix um, header file. This file is included prefixed to all of our classes, so if we import, import it here, then um, we're going to save ourselves some typing. go. Um, the first thing we're going to do is the have a look at the where am I view controller interface file and I'm going to add um, a map mk map view called map view and a couple of UI labels um, Called latitude and longitude. We're going to declare those as properties, non atomic, and we're going to retain them and declare them as an IB outlet. Do a bit of copy and paste here. And there we go. Okay, so onto the interface file. Um, we're not going to do a lot here right now, we're just going to clean it up a bit. We are going to use the view did load version, uh, view did load method in a little while, so we're going to leave that. But we're going to get rid of most of the rest of this uh, boilerplate that Xcode generated for us. We don't need the view did unload method. Um, oops. We need to add synthesize our properties. And since we created and retained them, then we also need to release them in the dialog method. And that's all we're going to need to do there for now. Um, now we can open up the Where Am I View Controller nib file in Interface Builder. rearrange our windows here and grab a map view from the library window and drag and drop it into the uh, view window. You can see it's turned up there so we click on files owner and connections and uh, we're going to connect the map view to our map view there. Now I'm going to uh, grab a round button and drop it in the corner here and um, we're going to drive a couple of labels and call these latitude longitude we're going to square these up a little bit there we go um, we probably actually need to make this slightly larger. And 
grab another couple of labels. And make that a bit larger too. And get rid of the contents of these labels. Then uh, from files owner again, from the connections panel, we connect that one to there and longitude to there. And if we click on the button, we want to disable um, user interaction on the button. There you go, that's our uh, nib file done. And we just want to go to the application delegate now. So, most of the work is going to be done by the application delegate. Um, we are going to declare this as well as a UI application delegate as a CL location manager delegate. And we're going to add a CL location manager called location manager. And declare that as property. Now atomic and we'll retain. And there we go, it's a location managed property there. And so then going into the inter uh, implementation file rather, uh, we need to Synthesize our location manager, and of course, we also need to release it there. Okay, um, then we need, of course, to uh, initialize our location manager. Allocate in it. Actually, let's also release this. So, uh, since we're auto releasing it, we don't have to include it in the dialloc method there. So, if self location manager uh, location services enabled um, we can self location manager set the delegate to this class and set the distance filter to say um, 100 meters And now we're going to um, start updating the location. Okay. So the only thing left to do is implement our delegate method. And we're going to implement the location manager did update location from location. We're going to, um, in here we're going to create an MK coordinate span called 
span. Span dot uh, latitude delta 0 0.2 degrees. Span dot longitude delta is also 0 0.2 degrees. Then we're going to have an MK coordinate region or region. And the region dot span will set to the span variable which is created and the region dot center is going to be our new location coordinates okay then we're going to take our view controller map view and set the region to our MK coordinate region. Animated. Yes. Map view shows user location equals yes. So this will turn on display of user location. Um, and then we're going to populate our two UI labels. So it's UI controller latitude text equals ns string string with format uh, percent f because we're going to pass a float towards it. New location coordinate latitude. And let's just copy and paste there. And we should be done. So with a bit of uh, luck, this will now compile. So let's hit um, Apple B. And it succeeded, which is surprising to me as it is to you. Um, so let's, we're targeting the iPhone simulator, debug, let's build and go. So it starts up okay, we have a map. And nothing seems to be happening. And that probably means that we're not triggering our, um, our delegate method. So what's wrong with the delegate method? Ah, it's uh, did up to did update to location from location. Uh, so let's rebuild, build and go. And there we go. The simulator thinks it's in Cupertino. One infinite. One infinite place. Let's just um, zoom in again. Infinite loop. And there we go. That was the Where Am I application from chapter 11 of iPhone programming.